I had two guys call in. They work at DNA testing centers. One guy had to quit. One guy still works there. He told me 40% of the children are not the man's child. 40%. 40%. He said 40%. Somebody cool, and Lori. It's yeah. usually, Make DNA testing it's, it, and it's two, mandatory. It's two scenarios. It's where the woman, they, the person's getting a DNA test because the woman claims that is their child. Turns out it's not. The other one is where the parent is on the deathbed and makes a confession. Oh, or God. they need a health, they need a liver transplant, blood transfusion, and the blood type, there's no way that that can actually be the father. So then they find out because of medical reasons, you mean that's not my father? Then the father finds out from that way. He said it took such a toll on him that he could no longer do it because he would be sitting on the phone counseling the men and the grown children who these women falsely accuse you, We see it you on more We see it on happen. paternity court But yet we say men need to be held accountable Sad world out there guys Sad world out there guys It's brutal Got a bit of a pump Damn, Something kind of thick it Doesn't even match my face Mandated DNA tests Is that something realistic? Let's think about it for a second Mandated DNA tests Would mean a little bit of an infringement on people's rights because people should have the right to decide things, so to say. But it's funny that the same people who would say, that's so toxic, that's so bad, that's so messed up, that's against all of our rights. Imagine like mandating DNA tests. Well, guess what? They mandate the vaccine in many places. The country I was in, it was semi-mandated where I was from. So yeah, there's some double standards, but that's not the topic of the day. The topic of this video, as you could tell, is the promiscuity of women. I hop back to this subject sometime and it's actually scary these stats. I remember there was some study, of course I'm pulling it out of my ass, I'm not going to look it up and I don't care, stating that like in the past, one in like three children were not the husbands in some certain time period. I don't know if it's true or not, but that's brutal. But as you can see in all of these tests, 40% is a huge amount. The guy literally stopped working there. Now some may say, that's mean you're not trusting if you get a DNA test, you have insecurity issues. No, dude. Think of it from the perspective that if that you raise a child your whole life and it ends up the child's not even yours. Just imagine the brokenness of those men. Imagine the brokenness of those men. You get a girlfriend. You fall in love with her. Black pill or red pill or whatever blue pill you are. You love her. She's special to you. And she'll become, even if you're black pill, believe it or not, you'll get super infatuated. And you're with her for 10 years, you got like two or three kids, and it ends up that one of those kids ain't yours. Imagine how it is for you, imagine how it is for the kid. And you know what happens in most cases? It's somehow the fault of the dude. How fair do you think that is? That's pretty brutal, no? When does it end, guys? When everything just keeps escalating to a more toxic situation? Everything, the world is just so chaotic in this year, 2023, it's just been escalating these past couple years. I'm thankful I live a comfortable life, a lot of us do. But is it comfortable in here? Is it comfortable in here? That's what I'm trying to say. I think it's, it's sad. Coming from a dude who had relationships where I was bad in some of them, other people were bad in some of them, but I've always stayed loyal, but I've been in relationships where I've been cheated on, boys. It's not fun. Obviously, it's not fun, but it's a really broken thing. So imagine you're married to a person and you have kids with that person and she's your wife and your woman and you love her and you think she's loyal to you. So not only do you find out a kid's not yours, which is sad, you find out your wife has been loyal and you've been living a lie. You've literally been living a lie. Let me know what you guys think of situations like this in the comment section down below. But I think it's just brutal and sad. So I wanted to make a video on it. Peace. I'm so 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 I'm so